Hi everyone and welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. Today's video is all about putting and in particular breaking putts. Based basically on the Masters really that's going on at this moment in time, I want to talk about how breaking putts, we can have a simple process to read them a little bit easier and also a little exercise we can do to make sure we can try and start our breaking putts more online. I tend to see a common fault with a lot of people with breaking putts, with elite golfers and average golfers, that basically when they're hitting the a breaking putt they look too much at the hole and don't focus enough on the start line that we would want so i've got a very basic drill here down down here to help you with that and something you can practice a lot on breaking putts this particular putt isn't massively breaking but it is breaking a little bit left to right i'm going to go through the process we go through to work out that and also then this little drill with you now in detail so okay green reading little bits of easy stuff to start with if i look at this hole i'm just thinking from a visual point of view, if the hole was full of water, where would the water run? And for me, on this particular hole, the water would run out and down towards that bunker, basically in the distance there. So it'd work out, so it's downhill and left to right. That's the visual I'm seeing straight away. Second thing I can do is straddle my ball. And just think, what foot has the most weight? In this case, my right foot has the most weight. It's a very simple way of looking at, is it left to right or right to left? So this then is left to right. The third process I might go through is just walk the low side of the hole and again walk about halfway and all I'm going to do here is look at the ground and think is it uphill or downhill this way side on and that again confirms it's left to right and also then I also see how much downhill it is also. So I've confirmed now it's downhill left to right putt. Not a huge amount of break but there is some breaking point, breaking break from left to right. Then what I've done with this club is set this club up to aim me just slightly left. And also if I put the ball obviously quite close to that club, it means if my ball starts to leak right early on, I'm gonna hit the end of this club. And obviously I can make this stick longer, I can make it tighter, I can vary it depending on the player and depending on how critical we find this is working. And we can try it with different putts around the hole. The idea in this now would be I'd set up, I take my aim, and I try and feel like I'm aiming along the stick, basically, obviously parallel to it. And I'm gonna focus very much so on trying to get the ball to start on that line and try and make sure with my eyes, I don't look at the hole too much. I'm gonna look along this line. I can see the ball breaking then into the hole and work back on that line. But the last thing I, I, I don't want to see really is the hole. Because if I see the hole, there's a likelihood I'm gonna try and manipulate my hands to get the ball to go towards the hole. Then I'm gonna try and basically put, place a stroke that would go in line with my new setup and aim. I'm going to try and make sure the ball stays kind of left of that grip end, at least for this initial part of its journey. So let's have a go with that putt. So set myself up here. Oh, pretty good. So a touch too firm. That's why I missed the hole, but it's finished directly behind the hole. And again, the station it made me have kind of more trust to start the ball left, which is kind of what I'd want you to do. And you might find you're better at the left to right putts or right to left putts, and you might practice the one you're not so good at a bit more. And have this kind of station set up, and then work from there about, you know, working real hard in your start line and your aim line, rather than trying to focus on the hole. Again, we want the ball to go in the hole, so that might sound a little bit backwards. But on breaking putts, we see so many golfers manipulating the hands of the head to get the ball starting near the whole line, because that's what they're focusing on. So you can even use gates, tee pegs to go through here. That's a good exercise to do as well. You can put a tee peg for your start line, a tee peg for kind of your apex line and make sure then we focus on, you know, the ball starting correctly and then trusting that. And then, you know, ooh. And then again, the green read is important. So using your feed, using your eyes, using your perception without having to worry about getting down too much plumb bombing and things like that. It's a simple process for green reading that I've taught you today and a simple exercise to start the ball online a little bit quicker. Hope you've enjoyed this video and hope you're enjoying the Masters Golf that's on TV right now. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like down below. Also chat, tell me if your predictions have won in the Masters, that'd be great to hear. But also tell me a little bit about what videos you want me to do in the future.